What's up guys, this is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And to pick off where we left off from last, last time, we have been uh, engaging the Russians as frequently as possible, leading to actually some potentially quite massive battles. But, the first battle we are fighting is down here at Kiev, where we're going to attack the small garrison led by Paul Moldovan. And then following this, we'll probably take this army here, march them around and hit this full strength Russian army here. But first, let's take out this city. The garrison itself is not particularly strong. We're going to make our breach, and then we're going to assault. Capturing the, capturing the city of Kiev will be quite a uh, significant boost for our troops. And it will put us on a strong footing as we drive forward. So now, what we are going to witness is... Well, as, we, as the Russians collapse, we'll then start to focus on knocking out the Ottomans. And my god, that's a lot of artillery for a garrison such as this. No need for any smart howitzer placement, considering the strength of our foe. That's a lot of cavalry as well. Okay, so let's say we get... One unit each plus a unit of skirmishes to go through the front. Our actual assault element is only four troops big. It could be a bit spicy. Let's make our way in first. Fundamentally, the only reserves they have are a mortar garrison and a unit of horse grenadiers. And because they have such limited numbers, it might actually send things like my skirmishers around to capture gates and get up on walls and things like that, just to spread their spread their troops out. So we've lost a training team. But we are we are going to bring this wall down. Garrison line marching single file. Single file sharing the space with grenadiers. There's another unit of grenadiers. Let's speed up time because right now we are. Oh, are they actually going to garrison this forward position? You normally never see them do that. That's our first. Oh, those are some good quick climb hits. If they do go up here, you never see them garrison this section of the wall here. I mean, I never do, because A, you've never normally got enough men, and B, it's, it's, it's so buggy, it's not worth trying to do it. I mean, if you guys can drop a quick climb shot there... Right, don't target that unit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Beware the angles. Okay, let's get our unit. One unit to hit these grenadiers. We're one more shot away from doing... Oh, one more. No, we're going to miss it and we're going to lose... Actually, no, we're not. Jesus, those poor Russians. So let's then focus on this section here. You continue with your order to fire along the walkway, getting towards that bastion. Or have I retargeted you? No, I haven't. But look at that. Yeah, not as many. These are these are militia at the end of the day. You hit the grenadiers there, you hit that garrison line, you keep dropping shells. There. 
Zar guards. The chaps in with the red facings, I believe. I mean, if they kill any cavalry, if they kill any artillery, then that's got to be good. Especially if you destroy the command HQ, looking out over their bra the brave parade square. I mean, they've killed one guy. There's his body. Ah. Getting struck by a 24 pound cannonball from inside the fort, and you're there thinking, I'm pretty safe. Volley. Oh, that would have been a good hit. Oh, kind of. Okay, let's get our men moving. I'm going to put two cavalry going towards the breach to try and bust their way through. There's no way to stop the... She uh, might specifically target the Tsar guards there. But these men get them up to the front, start to mow down the men forward. Those guys at least are getting hit by my field artillery and they did destroy a gun. So you men run up the gatehouse directly. You men climb up to the side and try to get to the gatehouse. You guys are going to stay nearby to provide a bit of cover. Quick climb's doing its noble work. You hit that grenadier guard unit instead. To be honest, nail my cavalry straight through because these guys aren't going to be enough to hold them up. Especially not after some volleys from my sharpshooters. Although I might fire it well off. So don't worry about don't worry about trying to fight your way in my infantry are going to try and do that should I get those skirmishes up on the hill up on the up on the top there run your way straight through before those nope not at men especially not with my quick line coming in like that All these men, in, in lieu of, or in place of cavalry, yeah, my cavalry might route, but that's to be entirely expected. They're coming out. Okay, right. All my howitzers. Round shot that you know of mortars. Then my other cavalry. Some militia aren't going to be very happy. No, not my fusiliers. They're weak. Oh. Okay. Charge the grenade guards. My sharpshooters.
Okay, now try again. Yeah, you men probably not gonna do so well against the Grenadier Guards. That's what these guys are for. Again, just try to run straight in. I mean, that's exactly where I didn't order you cavalrymen to go. But if it makes you feel better... Here they are going down. So take everyone except my sharpshooters and push in. Sharpshooters get back and don't fire at will. They've attempted to fire at us. They're going to get hit by charged down by cavalry. There is a point when they just run out of men. They don't have they physically don't have enough mass to stop you from just pouring through. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> Bit of a ragged siege that one was actually. I think it was chiefly because I didn't have I didn't have as much uh, as much infantry as I would like to storm a city. But I lost four hundred men, so that went pretty well. So Kiev is ours. Let us rebuild. They're surprisingly okay with us, but it's because we've raided the university, which we will turn into a Catholic missionary. to help convert the population towards Catholicism, although they're 42% gone already. Okay. So the next fight was to take you guys, head directly south, then north, Yuli Nakimov. Let's engage and defeat this Russian army in the field and push them back. Then, those forces over near Laval, you start to think, you start to realise they are going to become trapped in a pocket. And we're going to end up having... Well, they'll have concentrated their force so much in one position that the end result is going to be uh, us just going around them and surrounding them. There we go. Then take these guns. They're not in a terrible position. The terrain isn't awful. There we go. Then get some guards on this flank. Get some lights on the flank there. I'm getting into the habit of always trying to put one unit of heavy cavalry on each flank, because that way whatever we face, we're going to have a good shot at defeating it. Okay, but we are going to need to push up in quite quick order. And now how it says it's providing us some good Fire support. Ooh, okay. Sharpshooters, get into that house. That could be pretty good, actually. They should have enough range to get there. But with... I mean, the mortars aren't firing. They aren't firing. Okay. 
and then my howitzers are going to shoot at their infantry then. Infantry and cavalry, that's what we're going to focus on. I want to get my guns set up in, in position. I might even run these guys forward just to start the ball rolling. I think they might have begin they might have realized. To be honest, they're in a fantastic firing position for my artillery. I'm gonna unlimber and just start blasting them with shrapnel shot. These men are just out of range, so if they shuffle forwards, we're gonna be in a good position to hit them with our musketry. Hit that regiment of grenadiers, please. Slow motion. I missed it. Bang! But we did get a good hit. There we go. Our skirmishes are in the are in the are in the house. Select that gun team. Let's actually take you guys. That cavalry is twigged. My heavies are going to hit their light horse. The skirmishers are getting some. Hopefully not too many shots in the back here. Concerned a frightening enemy unit. I wonder who that is. See, they're quick. They are. Fu they are their hearts are beginning to fire as well. I mean, yeah, my, my general can fight them as well. Why the hell not? Is these militia? I don't know what they're getting into. I mean, my cavalry is going to run all the way. Over. This cavalry is going to run over to the back. I'm not worried about this push. I might stop you guys from shooting because they might fire into the, this combat to try and engineers hit the light foot. New men can deploy into square now, but it's too late. So let's take that line infantry, commit them into the fight. My infantry on the right can sweep along the flank. Can you guys kill the hussars yet? Okay, let's take my this hussar unit and peel them out of the combat. Hey, one of our units broke. You can't do that. So, there's my sharpshooters. You guys go after that grenadier regiment. You guys go after that artillery regiment. And you guys charge the line infantry guards to the rear. Grenadier guards need to be knocked out. So you knock out this light infantry in quick order, and then we can begin to roll. Okay, let's get this cavalry in the gap like this. You guys continue to hit the Lancer guards. Make sure artillery is not shooting at anything. Yeah, 
we are starting to suffer some fractures in our line. Yeah, let's get these sharpshooters and this cavalry back over here. You hit the foot guards, you hit that regiment there. Artillery gun down that unit of sharpshooting cavalry there. There we go, that's the dragoons destroyed. Let's knock out this cavalry sharpshooter unit. There we go, that'll be enough. You men charge into the back over there. Now I can charge my cavalry back down through the action without worrying about spikes. There we go. Frightening enemy units indeed. And the Russians have their line infantry guards. Huzzah! Huzzah! Fear not, the hundred and second. Okay, fear a lot, apparently. Okay, this cavalry can go chase down whomever they see fit. Although there is. <laughs> light infantry up on the hill. These light infantry guards are not long for this world. So these men form up a line except for the cavalry. There we go. Quick climb and artillery fire. That'll do the trick. are going to continue. Not anticipating great things, but just want to knock out a few choice units, such as these infantry guards. Okay. Now the militia are going to route, so it's all down to now the light infantry have also routed. Close victory. I mean, I thought it was going stupendously well, and then it got a bit dicey because I got too close. But god damn, that's a comprehensive victory indeed. Uomini, avanti. Mr. Luzato. Fantastic job. So then it means this force. Like so I'm going to ignore this, these ships. You men can push up to the bridge. Yeah, you can't, you can't do anything about them yet. But what is mighty tempting? Mighty tempting indeed. Is to break, is to, not to break the siege, but take Mario Torricelli, have him hit the city of Vilnius, and then we've got to try and break in and win before these men can come into support. But, uh, oh, do I? Oh, go on then. I thought the episode, the part, I thought we were much later in the episode than we were, but we are not, so you're getting it now. <laughs> It would appear that second fight was a bit quicker than I anticipated. But there we are. It's not the end of the world. So let us 
see how things unfold. So, as I've done plenty of times before, the objective is to break in and kill as many of the enemy as possible without making them rout until the very last minute. So let's put four to go in the breach. In, in slash near the breach and then as many men as possible I mean I definitely can't hide them in that set of trees there as many men as possible plus cavalry to go around the flank and provoke or to probe the edges so you men bust down the city wall So this, you, this how it's a team, I've dropped, I want them to drop some quick climb shots right in the centre, just to do damage to the, all this cavalry that's here. I mean, that was a pretty lacklustre shot, to be honest, there. So this unit on the flank needs to hit. No, actually, no, just hit that garrison guard unit. These gun teams will make... Short work of the fort in due course. Let's speed up time. As long as they don't knock out a, a gun, that's what that's what matters. But you do need to carefully monitor who your who your artillery kill. You really don't you really don't want to start dealing with reinforcements coming in. So that's the more so that's the biggest sort of hit I was expecting. This artillery is now garrison guards down to 60, foot engineers down to not very many. Aim at that unit of garrison guards on the flank over there. There's a chance those engineers might actually rout when the wall collapses. If not, they will be tremendously upset for a while. Although, to be honest, it looks. It looks like my guns aren't even properly shooting at the wall. Okay, that was a good hit. So that's probably enough chipping away at the centre for now. Instead, pick... Pick some of this line infantry. Okay, I'm going to speed up time because right now there's not really any point to watching it play out. I'm just letting my guns do the work. So you guys should be aiming at the guards. Okay, yeah, any of these units are good because they're all good. They're all at full strength. This guy should be aiming at anyone over here. Aim at the eleventh. No, leave the engineers alone. These Republican swine. But at least I've got a good wide front on the flank to push up with. Okay, you've done enough damage to them. Maybe go after that foot guard unit. That's a good idea. You maybe aim at the 70th. Actually, no, don't, because you're about. They're about to get squat. They're about to get squashed anyway. No, stop. Gack. Stop running engineers wherever, where, wherever I'm trying to kill the units. Okay, so, so you guys hit the 53rd. Probably want to thin them out a little bit more. They did have a mortar battery, right? Gemma's bodyguard. 
Yeah, there it is. Okay, this is dangerous because they can break and route and run away from there very easily. I'm going to use my infantry to run around the back. I don't want to run up here. I want to run around here. And I will need to march up my infantry. You could try and aim for those guys. No, you should really chip chip away at the centre, really. See, that was a good hit, but we need to, these guys need to focus on the centre here. Lots of militia. Aim for the aim for this unit of line because the men outside the walls can get shot to bits by my infantry when they're in position. Yeah, my cavalry wants to get in one of the other gates. You should still be picking away at the engineers. Which it looks like you are doing with various levels of success. Good, you are still firing. You can maybe aim at the militia instead. Now their mortar batteries are, are up and going. They're up and ready. They're up and running, so we need to kick this whole action into, into high gear. lob shells into the breach just round shot will do the work doesn't need to be fancy like shrapnel shot I mean it could be but I mean, they're not firing where I would expect them they're not pointing the way I would expect them to point okay let's get You climb there, you climb there, you block whatever's gonna Whatever comes through that gate, you will stand your ground. And then these four. I suspect it's probably smarter to run up here and then send some guys up here, then run them along to the gate. These guys are all gonna hunker down. Cavalry's gonna sit and be ready. We've made one unit route. You guys halt fire. We need to make our way in. I mean, they're just completely running the wrong way. They just didn't want. They just wanted someone else to go in first. If we can get two full units up here, it means we can storm through and secure this gate pretty quickly. Yeah. Hey, they came back. Whoa, howitzers, don't do that. Just keep dropping generic shots in the middle. I did kill a bunch of my own guys with that last shot. The grenadiers are up there, but that's not... Four men is, is not enough to take that section. It's enough to delay them. Like these dragoons are attempting to delay my offensive. 
but it's not going to work. Okay, now my grand is get in. And I need these units to be a bit more complete. Oh, actually, actually, actually. You men bombard the square with quicklime fire. The gatehouse is ours. These men. Run in! You guys have to charge along the wall. I mean, they're doing it again. <laughs> you guys, okay, you guys have to run across now, even though I might not necessarily want you to. So you're stay in square. Bombard this mess with quicklime. Lot, it'd be very lots of friendly fire, but there we go. Lots of friendly fire, but I'm only going to have to sacrifice one regiment to get a lot of kills potentially. Cavalry know what's happening. Do you men fire at will? Or fire into that breach? Square. You men. Actually, you guys drop a square formation right there. That will help block any cavalry running in. You guys get in off the walls. Rapido! Enemy cavalry is coming in. New men engage that up, those troops there. Okay, you guys need to run over there to block. Ah, oh, nuts, there's going to be a... No, they're going to have that. Keep that guardhouse secured. So you men need to run. Over here. To capture the final gatehouse. You guys, I don't really care about what they're up to. You guys have to get over here. Cavalry, don't just stop attacking them. You got to keep fighting. Can't let the red. Can't let the. Okay, you deploy square there. Nice one, general. Okay, you men run across. So you guys are going to deploy square. New men are going to sit here. Get the cavalry into the action over there. So this is the, the only other gatehouse we don't, the only other gate building we don't have secured.
So the name of the game... Well, there is no name of the game. I mean, this poor regiment is going to get... is getting uh, annihilated. Now the name of the game is to block. So we've taken the city. We've got the men to hold it. Now, the main thing to do is to stop them from being able to get in, which I think we're going to because all we can see is that they're now all way too far away to actually interfere with the capture of our the capture of our city. We may lose a general in these unlucky last few seconds. How did you get in? Was it because of some weird AI? Like, these guys open the gates automatically to get in. That's the kind of dumb thing they would do. But... Our strategy worked, despite you getting a bit hairy in the last few minutes. And there we go. All those troops, 7,317 Len lost. Dead. They've run the wrong way, obviously. So this army can... Okay, I want to use them, really. No, they can't get there in time. That's annoying. Use the Kernings by Garrison to run in and take him out. You can't get away, so we have to do a bit of auto-resolve here. Una vittoria gloriosa! Siamo pronti! Good stuff. So now we've got the Russians are blocked in. To be honest, we could, there could be a big battle here in... Poland. Let's do some replenishment. Let's move these troops up into range. You men need to push along around to the north. Your Gava is replenishing. Two happiness buildings. They're unhappy. Let's exempt them from tax. Let's destroy one of their happiness buildings because we need to turn it into a religious school and looking at the timer I believe actually let's take you you who did all that fighting so long ago you get ready to push up to Umiya to knock out those last that last remaining Russian holdout you're not within range there you could do stuff What is it I want to do? I think I might hit and turn actually before I end the episode, just to see what happens. So we've got a load of spies and a load of troops driving east. Got more priests running around hoping to cause us problems and the Turks trying to steal our technology. I can't wait so I don't have any universities anymore. Then they'll really be buggered. Ooh. Hope they keep running them away. Then I can take Moscow. Stop motion animation there into the distance. Oh, good. They actually laid siege to my little fort. Ooh, do you want to intercept? Yeah, I. I'll auto resolve that. We would definitely have lost fewer men than that, but. Yeah, Russia's. If they really want to convert Kaliningrad over to the Orthodox religion. Ooh, and they've pushed out to attack us. We're going to fight a defensive action. But not this episode, because looking at the timer, this time we actually are at the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for quite a big defensive battle against the Russians. Cheers, everyone.